Okay, one of the voter approaches the polling site. The first person people they will meet will be my election board members. And three of these people are elected officials. Uh, they are to go into the polling site, say their name and address. My clerks and my poll workers will find their name in the poll book. And if they're eligible to vote at this station, they will give them an access card in order to access a ballot for the machine. Uh, the elector takes the access card over to the machine insert it into the machine and the screens will appear. At this stage they have a lot of options they can do. If for some reason they need a larger print, they can hit the large print text and it would magnify everything being shown on the screen. Uh, once they're comfortable with the type of selection they need to make, just hit the next button and the candidates will appear. They touch the candidate row to make their selection and then when they're completely completely finished voting, what comes up would be considered a summary screen. This shows them exactly how they voted. Now, on this screen, this is where they could make changes to the ballot if they find necessary, if they didn't vote correctly. They touch the screen of the candidate they would need to change, and it'll take them back to that screen. They can complete the selections, and once they're happy with their ballot, they can hit the cast ballot button. A warning also comes up. Are you sure you want to cast your ballot? It always gives you the option until you're ready to finally cast your ballot, hitting the cast ballot the second time. What this machine will not allow you to do will be overvote, which is very important. But this machine will allow you to undervote because that's your choice to undervote.